<sighs> wow. I am really excited to work on my original character Do Not Steal today. All right. Now, where did I leave off last time? Where is she? Where did she go? I am livid. Livid, I tell you. They thought they could outcrime the criminal. I mean, look at that. They took my OC. And my money! I wasn't so upset, I'd be impressed. Now, I know exactly who the perpetrators were. They were The Hydroxian and Laz the Lazy. Two artists I featured in my last Art Crimes video. And while I was able to recover my OC, they changed her. They sent her back, you know, different. Don't worry. All I gotta do is I gotta break down how they drew her and draw her the way she's supposed to be drawn. Alright, let's take a look at what the Hydroxian did. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. The main first thing I want to point out about how he's interpreted her is he took the bunny aspect of this bunny and took it a little too far. Let me show you what I mean. Look at how far out this nose is from her face. If we look at some of my references, she's got a, she's got a small little cute little nose here, but a short little thing. And then you look at this and it's just so... Hold on one second. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. Look at how, uh, look how egregiously long that is. Ugh. What is this? All right, now let's take a look at what he did with these ears right here. He did take into consideration that she's got these polygonal ears, but he made them so flat. Look, there's some meat back there. They ain't that flat. Uh, meat, but I don't know what meat are in the ears. Cartilage. It's not flat. I feel like if those two were to ever hit, it'd just be two frying pans slamming into each other. Wait, hold on. That, that, that's what it would sound like if you touched her ears, just... I'm gonna hate myself in post. Alright, now let's... Now let's break down her form here as well. So, here's the rib cage going like here, kind of. It's like... Alright, there's the top bit, but then the bottom... Going that way. So it's like... A heck of a twist. Like, as soon as it gets to the waist, it just makes a 90 degree turn. Like, that, that's so impractical. But, such exaggeration. If that were to happen... Okay, let me demonstrate. This is this is a normal direction for somebody to face. And then the Hydra's just taking the body and gone like... <laughs> dead. Don't worry, we can have her fixed up in a flash. I just gotta speed run this drawing real quick. Hold on. Um, I guess while I'm doing this, I might as well uh, talk about my process a little bit. Um, so basically here, I've got it really close to the thing that I'm referencing. Mainly for convenience. I feel like if it's right in front of my face, then I have an easier time, you know, getting the shapes down from that reference. You know what I mean? And here's actually a really interesting... Uh, point that I want to point out about my character's design. A lot of what I've been focusing on with Laura is her eyes, actually. Like, where they're located on her face. So, in my original ideas on making Flora, I wanted her to be more rabbit-like in the sense that she has the positioning of her eyes like a regular rabbit. Like, kind of more on the sides of her head. 
And I kind of even came up with the idea that because of that, she's only ever looking at you, like, from one side. So you only ever see one eye at a time. But then as I kept drawing her, and I kept putting her in more positions, more angles, and stuff, where we kind of do see both eyes at the same time, it got really awkward, you know, making your eyes that far apart. So recently I've been practicing her face, drawing her eyes way more close together, as you can see here. Um, I think the biggest problem with that that I'm having is that the further eyes kind of gave her more of an aged look, if you ask me. Kind of more of... She just looked older. She just looked more hardened. This, I feel like, with her eyes closer together like I have her now, makes her look a little bit younger, and I don't necessarily want that. But I feel like as I keep drawing her and make adjustments to her eyes, especially like adding those little um, lines down beneath her eyes, that it'll really add to that effect that she's more hard and that she uh, looks a little older for her age because of all the things that she's been through kind of deal. Um, and before we miss it, this hand was a lot of fun actually. This hand was really interesting to kind of draw my own style. I don't, as you can see, I don't exactly copy Hydro's way of doing it, um, but I definitely copy the proportions because I liked the positioning of it here. I wanted to add more folds in where the clothes hit into the belt, but I felt like with uh, the movement and the motion going on that it would look a little too busy. Uh, I don't know why, I just have an affinity for shoes somehow. I don't know, I keep drawing shoes really good. I definitely draw shoes better than I draw feet, and I'm not like the best at drawing shoes. There are some people that draw really realistic looking, really nice shoes. But when it comes to just getting the shape down, like on a whim, somehow I've been I've been pretty good at pulling it off. Yeah, and uh, just like that, I think she's basically uh, back to my style. Let's draw her little stone in there, and yeah, I think uh, I think the head may have turned out a little small, especially in comparison. Maybe I could have made it a little bigger to kind of mesh with the rest of it. But yeah, she, she's back from this one. Now I just gotta fix it for the other one. Alright, next up we have Laz the Lazy. And, I mean, let me just show you. First of all, this guy and his lighting... I mean, we didn't have to put the surfboard here. Look, it's causing everything to be so dark. I mean, look at... Hold on. Hold on one sec. Ah, I mean, look at that. You can't see nothing, right? I mean, look at this. Where's the, where's the image? You can't see nothing here. Okay, I will admit one thing. This, like, well effect is really cool when you make it even darker. I mean, it's already, it's already kind of cool as it is, but, like... It's looking like a straight lightsaber now. Alright, and here's another major thing Laz missed out on. Where are the polygons, my dude? Where are the polygons? Look at this. Look how angular Laura's face is. And you give her this, like, wish. Just Alright, here we go. This is... There we go. Get some polygons in here. Just... Ooh. 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 Make sure this is a right angle. Okay, that's a bit obtuse. Make sure that's a right angle, though. Too much fluff over here. Well, all we need are three lines. And that's it. I mean, come on. And I will have you know that Flora is rock solid in this area. Just gotta... Just some meaty abs. What is all this squishiness right here? What is all this squishy? It is a so squishy. She's an accordion, baby. This is where I would do a gag where I would pull out an accordion and start playing it, but I don't actually have one, and now I'm kind of sad that I don't, because that would have been a really good bit. Alright, 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 alright. Mamma Mia, here we go again. Okay, 
So, for this one, um, I'm doing a little bit of crime here. Um, I'm definitely taking a lot of the shapes directly from the reference. Uh, and, well, part of that is just, you know, I'm just trying to make sure she comes back, you know, all in one piece, you know. I don't want to, I don't want to break anything. But if, if you're learning how to draw, this is actually a pretty good way of figuring out your things like anatomy. Now, what you don't want to do, of course, is just trace the whole thing. I feel like I've done that before and it can help sometimes. But if you're going to trace anything, just get the shapes down. As you can see here, I'm figuring out where those shapes are. And then I'm using my reference to figure out where the outline, where the muscles are. And especially with that hand, the figuring out you know, how that hand's supposed to look. And here we have the eyes again. I'm just gonna say this right now. It looks pretty trash right now, but I think I'm on the path to drawing some of the best eyes I've ever drawn on this character. Just gotta, just uh, move that little thing over real quick and, you know, just, uh, just want to say if I should probably rotate this. Yeah, here we go. So I was saying how, like, non-polygonal Laz took this. And I really do like some of the angles I put on the face. Sometimes I mess them up. Like, I, I don't feel like they're quite right here. I'm going to mess with this mouth a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I feel like that looks a lot better. So we don't get the same roundness that Laz gave in it. We don't... We don't get the same kind of flow of the shape. But I really, I really like how she looks. With kind of her um, muzzle, her lips at those angles. I just, I just think it looks pretty cool. Oh wait, oh yeah, look at this. Made her eyes pretty narrow for this. We uh, don't have her looking in the same direction, I don't think. Uh, but I think, I think these eyes are looking really good. Again, I think these are some of the best eyes I've ever drawn on her. I don't know how the rest of the body is going to go, but this face is definitely going pretty good. A lot better than I expected. Yeah, I'm starting to give her a little fluff on the hair right there. Laz did that on uh, his drawing of her, and you know, I think I'm going to keep that. I think I'm going to keep that on her. She's mainly she, she's a bunny, but she doesn't really have a lot of fur, per se. She's kind of more aquatic. She's got a tight blue skin. She's supposed to be, like, some kind of, like, Half platypus, I don't know. But giving her that little tuft of fur on the head, I think I think it's gonna look uh, pretty cute in the end. Okay. All right, that was a pretty complicated hand. I think I did pretty good on that. Oh, mm. okay. I don't think I'll be able to fix this too much, but I think I kind of broke her wrist there. Look at that, going way too far down. If you look at how my wrist is going there, it cannot. I can't bend mine that way. Maybe she can. I may have broken her wrist in the process. I, I could fix that. I could fix that. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. What I did like that I'm trying to keep while also trying to restore some things that I um, do when I draw her. He made her real squishy. He made her real squishy down there. But I really like defining uh, her abdomen area. Especially when she's got a wetsuit on. A tight wetsuit on like this. She's supposed to be pretty stacked down there. It works out and as you see there uh i don't i don't think drawing the abs on this suit is actually working that well he drew the belly button kind of facing down i'm drawing it at like an upwards angle like this i just like how that looks better just for when i'm drawing it i think it looks great over on last thing but you know he did steal her so we gotta we gotta fix those things all right, and your surfboard, I'm not going to go too much in detail. We really just care about, you know, making sure she gets over here all right. And let's finish the details on her wetsuit here. And then I think we're pretty close to getting her back. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. You know what? I will admit. Those drawings are pretty good. If anything, this has taught me a lot about my own style and what it's turning into. And also how other people can interpret my style. I think I actually learned a lot from this crime that's been committed against me. But as much as I've learned from the Hydroxian 
and Laz the Lazy. And as much as you might want to follow them on Twitter, I will have to say that I don't think my work here is done. Got to get back at it. Not just at them. I got to show all of Twitter a lesson. Water's ready. <laughs> hey, look at you. You're finally up. Oh, what, were you expecting hostility? Nah. Only hospitality here. We're just really happy to have you around. And don't worry. You, uh... You won't be the only one. I can't expect you to trust me right away. But honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Your artist gave you up so easily. They never really drew you right, did they? It's a shame, really. Everything will be better here, though. You'll see. You'll all see. I hear ya. No? Alright. More for me then. <laughs> that is hot.